Allie one she made a piece of content that didn't mention us so i was gonna like not cover it at all and then i realized that she's totally gonna take this down because she's getting some kind of pushback in the comments and then how well it pairs with the other video i have of her talking about her um teenage uh, friend when she was a teenager too who dated their teacher and how she talks about that scenario this man is 25 years old young Yes. Need Ali to stand up for him because he's uh, dating someone 14 years older? I, I, I don't think so. I think there's bigger, bigger issues in the world right now. What are my end goals with you? Yeah. End goal, obviously, would to be married and to have a happy life. Have a baby. <laughs> what? You can say I mean, that's in there. Yeah, you can say it. <laughs> I mean, it's in there. Yeah. That's like that. Kristen, he's a child. This is so predatory, and she is trying to trap a teenager into having a baby with her. This is proof that money and fame and football players, marrying football players, does nothing for you. Like, she is the most emotionally immature person I've ever seen. This is predatory. Why would you want to take away, like, formative years from his life? I'm the same age as her. I could never date a 24 year old i don't care how physically attractive they are he's not attractive because he looks 12 years old Kristen, and because he has the mind of a 24 year old like you know what it was like to be 24 do you need somebody who's your own age to tell you that this is predatory and weird and scary and it says so much about her as a person like, being a mother does not make you emotionally mature. It does not make you a good person. It does not make you able to make sound decisions. Like, I... It just shows exactly where she's at emotionally, mentally, everything. You want to have a baby with me? This is my ninth grade teacher. She was dating my 13 and 14 year old best friend and she they dated until he was 20 and then she pissed him off and he went and told on her. I've been seeing all these stories about women teachers getting arrested and I always forget about her and she and I were such good friends. That's so weird to say. I still consider her like one of my best friends. Like from my, she was my eighth and ninth grade teacher. We would write back and forth in our journals, like such personal stuff. Like I felt so close to her. And then like every three or four weeks, she would have these like weird breakdown moments that now I can see are kind of like maybe meltdowns or like, it seemed very kind of um, like she str struggled with like cyclical, you know, almost like, um, like manic highs and low lows kind of sorry i don't want to like butcher that because i don't know but like it just she would be like super happy for a long time and then all of a sudden she would hit these like really intense points and i was always so interested by that and she was married and had three kids and she used to take people into the woods for like chats and my boyfriend was in the church with me and we were secretly dating and I bet she was, he was way hotter than the guy that she ended up dating. <laughs> and his mom took him out of the school because she was so creeped out by this woman. His mom knew something was going on. My boyfriend's name was Matt. Okay, we went in, we were in the cult together. He wrote me the craziest poems. Yeah, but a bunch of people from the cult that I was in went to this small charter school. Okay, but the guy she dated was not in my church. Anyways, we'll call him Dan, okay? She used to take us out into the woods, like, outside of the school, and apparently that's when she started, like, hitting on Dan. And I know she was hitting on my boyfriend, too, but it was crazy, and I didn't find out till like, 10 years ago that she got arrested and charged and everything, and she has to register as an offender in Colorado, but she had three very young daughters. I babysat for her. Like, I spent so much time in her house, and, um she and dan got together when he was like 13 just about to turn 14 and they straight up dated <laughs> for like five years
Is that so sad? No, it's not sad. It's absolutely disgusting how you still talk about him and her, how you haven't processed it, and how you still consider her a friend, and you're still pick me with her and him. Your boyfriend's better looking. He was a baby. 13 going on 14? About 14 years ago, half his life ago, right? And then he chose to come forward and stop a sexual predator who was a teacher. And you still think he was in the wrong. He just got hurt and then decided to hurt her. Even if that's the case, that's why you don't date 14-year-olds. You don't commit crimes. She's 100% in the wrong. He is not. He is a boy, a baby. How does that happen? And she was such a good mom. Like, you would never in a million years have- This one, this one, not the arbiter of good moms, bad moms. She's had CPS called on four different mothers, but you think the good mother is the one you babysat for who preyed on a 13-year-old boy. She's TikTok's golden child. She didn't even, even her people let her get away with that, right? Not, dude, you're talking about a child. You're competing with your teacher over your past boyfriend who's better looking? You're all children. She shouldn't be taking you off into the woods for private. Those were uh, paired so well together. But this is only a recording. It's not even live. So, like, it won't be there unless I download and upload it. I'm probably not going to have the energy unless she likes it. And then I will edit it. So it's not 17 minutes. It's shorter. Shows more of the hypocrisy. All right. Ending this.